Bold Bakers, homemade chocolates are a really lovely gift to give around the holidays. So I'm going to show you how you can make homemade Ferrero Rocher so you can give them as an edible gift to friends and family. So let's get baking. So the first ingredient in our homemade Ferrero Rochers are toasted hazelnuts that have been deshelled. Now if you want to take the shells off hazelnuts, all you have to do is, when they're warm out of the oven, rub them in a tea towel and that will take the shells off. So just add them into a food processor. Now you do need a food processor to make this recipe and you can also use a blender. It just might need a little bit more moving around in there. Okay, so on with your lid and just start to blend. Now, if you've made my homemade Nutella or my homemade peanut butter, you'll know that you want this to form a paste. It'll take around two to three minutes and all the oils will come out of the nuts and create this lovely creamy paste. And that's what we're looking for. So it's been a few minutes. I can smell the hazelnuts and this is what they're to look like. Do you see how soft this is? Almost like a paste. It only takes a few minutes to get it to this stage. So we are looking good. Now into this, we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. I have some unsweetened cocoa powder here, good quality cocoa powder, we're gonna add that in. And next we're gonna go in with our sweetness. Now this is maple syrup, but you can also use agave or honey. Next is our vanilla extract. Now this is my homemade vanilla extract, and this just adds a really lovely flavor and complements the chocolate. And then lastly, in with our salt. Now you know how I feel about baking and salt. Everything needs a little bit of salt. Okay, so back on with our lid. Now all you want to do is just blend this up until it's well combined together. Okay, perfect, just a few seconds, and this is what your mix should look like. A lovely, chocolatey, soft mix. Now we are gonna set this aside and we're gonna get ready to assemble our Ferrero Rocher. So to assemble our Ferrero Rochers, it's really easy. We're just gonna take a little lump of the hazelnut mixture into our hands, and here I have some toasted hazelnuts. And I'm just gonna pop him in the center of my hazelnut mix, then just form a little ball. Now be generous with your hazelnut mix around your Ferrero Rocher because that's my favorite part. You don't wanna skimp on that. It's important to have this mix soft because if it's dry, it's gonna be really hard to form your little chocolates. Now we want to pop it into the fridge for roughly an hour because we want them to firm up before we dip them in chocolate. So my Ferrero Rochers are out of the fridge. They're nice and cold. So I am gonna dip them into a nice big bowl of melted chocolate. Now all we want to do here is just give them a little coating Make sure there's chocolate all over and then just let any excess drip off. Then dunk them into a bowl with chopped hazelnuts and then scatter the hazelnuts all over, giving them a good coating. And then we're gonna go again with the rest of our chocolates. Dunk, drip, and then into the hazelnuts. Now make sure the hazelnuts are also toasted to give extra flavor to our Ferrero Rocher. I remember growing up, my mom used to have Ferrero Rochers for dinner parties and I just thought that they were the height of sophistication. Our Ferrero Rochers have all been dipped and rolled and they look like the real thing. Now just like real Ferrero Rochers, they have that iconic gold paper and I have some right here, it's candy paper and I'm gonna put a link on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, of where you can buy this along with the recipe for our Ferrero Rochers. Now all you want to do is wrap your Ferrero Rochers in this gold paper and this will make them a beautiful edible gift. So if you like these Ferrero Rochers, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what other kind of candies and chocolates you'd like to see me making. Oh, now it's my time to try one. So these Ferrero Rochers will last at room temperature or in your fridge for up to eight days. Oh my gosh, just look at this. See how wonderful that looks? The soft chocolate center and the hard shell and the nuts all on the outside. This is absolutely wonderful. These are gorgeous chocolates and I'm sure anybody would love a gift of this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back here every Monday and Thursday for more bigger, bolder baking.